Hello there all, welcome to Let's Play Ratchet & Clank Going Commando HD. The second game in the Ratchet & Clank series, and my third time doing this game for YouTube. I did a few random videos when I first started out, but then did some actual walkthroughs slash playthroughs. Back in 2009, the first one had a huge body problem, the second one didn't really have any. And then this time I'm just going to do an HD to, you know, keep some consistency going with this series. So I haven't actually played this game since then, though. I got you know, watched some random videos and stuff. So this is kind of like a semi-blind LP. You know, it's going to be like a fully fresh save. I'm going to have to be getting trophies as they go. I'm going to be much Not 100%, but I'm going to be tackling a lot of extra, but, you know, all the objectives and some of the newly added arenas and everything, which I'll go into depth about when we actually get to the game. The menu is basically the same as, you know, I showed Magic Plank, but just when you hit left, you go to the credits for some reason. So here we got the main menu screen, and and you can actually see not just gameplay from the actual game, but you can act also sometimes see footage from Jack and Daxter, and I believe Sly Cooper. I believe it's Jack 2 and Sly Cooper Band of Thieves. Seems like there's some frame rate stutter, maybe because this is actually looks like it's directly ripped from the PS2 and not redone in HD exactly. I'm actually gonna let this play a bit so you guys can see how it look to see <laughs> I love how the AI actually died. Actually I just went through that a few times and it never once went to Jack to or slide to band fees, but I swear I've seen that. Anyway let's take a look at settings. I was able to speak a little bit of Spanish back in high school because Required subjects. I have friends who are French, so I'm not really gonna do that. I'll toggle subtitles. And I'll start a new game, of course. As you can see, I do actually, I do not have any other data of it. So, let's begin. It's gonna be quite a bit of cutscenes at the start. I'm gonna also have to check to see if or if not it actually does show gameplay from Slide 2 and. I mean, in Slide 2 and Jack 2, but. Whatever. Welcome back to Behind the Hero. Tonight's heroes are the duo who recently restored peace and order to our galaxy, Ratchet and Clank. So, gentlemen, tell us about your latest incredible adventures. Well, as you can imagine, we've been pretty busy. After Drek's defeat, there were parades, press conferences, fancy dress balls. And the wiener roast at Al's. Oh, yeah, that. And then things started to slow down a bit. After that, we, well... There was the grand opening at Groovy Lube. Right. I think that was last week. Six months ago. We're still pretty busy, but in a more, uh, domestic sense. Yesterday, I flushed out my radiator core. I guess no one needs a hero right now. Miss Bluebottom, I found our man! What the? I am Abercrombie Fizzwidget, founder of the Megacorp Company and the Bogon Galaxy. Bogon? I'm sorry to incapacitate you, but our entire galaxy is in a very precocious situation. I must humbly request your sustenance on a mission of dire urgitude, a mission of superfluous peril, a mission of unequivocal imperitude. Did that make any sense? So, you need me to go on a dangerous mission in another galaxy? Indubitably! A few days ago, this top-secret biological experiment was stolen from our testing laboratory by this duplicitous criminal mastermind, and I need you to get the experiment back. We'll do it. We will. Frank, I have precipitated your recalcitrance and have made special improvisations for you. 
We are prepared to give you a job as the head accountant for Megacorp. Plus a penthouse sweet and lovely Megapolis. And our state-of-the-art robotic masseuse. Deal. As for you, Ratchet, I'll need you in superlatory shape. While in transit to the Pokemon Galaxy, you will undergo heavy training and conditioning, including martial arts, heavy weaponry, survival skills, stealth, lacrimae, ballroom dance, and origami. We've used bipolar vector regurgitation to track the thief's location to a flying base in Sector 7. In film, tribulate the base and retrieve the experiment. Sir, ready for launch. Ratchet reporting. I'm on final approach to coordinates 37 Alpha. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Affirmative. Beginning radio silence. And here we have our first level. So this is actually my introduction to Ratchet and Clank, the very first game in the series I owned on the original PS2. To select weapons, Here we've got regular Quick select, select which actually paused the game, which was quite a doozy when I first played the original. You can strafe by holding on L2, and I know that L2 does that. Sorry, what is that? Weapons also actually level up as well in the series from, from here on out. And also, as you can see, that meter under our health, that's actually nanotech, and that means your health will increase as the game goes on. You don't have to really upgrade. You have to buy it, it will upgrade as you upgrade. It's pretty neat. Lancer's your basic pistol weapon. We have a gravity bomb, which is like the bomb of the first game. There's a bunch of other weapons. Let's try out the gravity bomb. Ooh, took the both out. Never question a bomb in this series, people. They're all powerful and deserve their respect. Just like in the first game, we actually do not have Clank here. He's uh, doing something else. You're at full health, so you don't need the nanotech. <laughs> Sassy. As for that guy, um brought us here. I don't know if the game actually said who he was. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure Ratchet knows, but I don't remember it dead. Uh, that I'll probably get saved later. Either way, the visuals don't look that much different, but looks like the draw sense is better. I mean, this is a pretty nice view. I also like how Ratchet has a, has a helmet. It's probably the O2 helmet. I still love how in the main menu screen, the person playing jumped to their death. Like, seriously? Either way, going commando, I would say is... I already showed up the gravity bomb, but what the hell? The game wants us to. I see it's time to update my security forces. Whoa, whoa, no, hey, no, no, look, I'm just here to fix the transflexor coil. Nice try. Give my regards to Megacorp. Finish him. <laughs> I love the squirrel laugh. That always gets a kick out of me. Anyway, that was our main villain so far. We don't know much on him. I don't know what the heck that little thing is called either. Either way, going commando did set a lot of standards for the series. Like, the only thing is, I would be, I've noticed people say going commando is probably the hardest of the original PS2 games, and I kind of do agree with them. I do feel that it can definitely really, it can be a lot harder compared to the first, in my opinion. And up your arsenal as well. Oh, it took them all out, awesome. Although, to be fair, I wouldn't call Russian Clank a an overly hard series. Bugs for less. Broke, we'll break it. 
Right. I'm in the market for some security. You bring the cash, we'll bring the thrash. Good. I need your best men to meet me at these coordinates. And it's saving. You're a full nanotech, so you evolved, so you need this nanotech. And those other robots didn't even wake up. L1 goes into this first person view. Come here! Wait, the game trials are basically the same, and you do R1 crouches, and then if we had Clank, it would be pressing X would give us a long jump, but we don't have Clank. He's off doing super boost things. I don't know what. What are those doing? Were they trying to be like spiders or ninjas? You also notice that Ratchet actually has a different voice actor this time around. I forget his voice actor in the first game. But I like it, it's definitely a far better voice. I believe he still has the same voice clip, like, you know, for when he gets hurt or dies. From the first game. I swear, it sounds like the new voice actor more than the old one, actually. I, it kind of confused me at first when I played the original. As far as I know, he's the only character who actually ever goes for a voice actor change. Like, Quirk and Clank never change their voice actors. Let's see if I can line them all up. Beautiful. Maybe I should actually fix the camera. Seems a bit too stiff. Um, fast. Ratchet checking in, sir. Incredulous. I didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, so soon. There was a slight problem. The thief escaped with the experiment, and I have no idea where he was headed. Not to worry. I just received an omission which may lubricate the matter. Do you have any maps for this quadrant of the galaxy? You bet, mister! We got galactic maps, 3D maps, foldouts, cutouts, maps to the stars, and their homes! Sorry about that. Oh, I forgot my wallet. Could you, you know, take care of this? Perimeter defenses deactivated. <laughs> You forgot your change. I'm on my way. 